So we're going to demonstrate a, a few more really cool properties of the water. One of them is I want to demonstrate what happens when you rinse your fruits and vegetables with your tap water at home. Let's get a little tap water here. And I'm putting something in there called O2O drops. These are, this is a chlorine testing agent. And if the water turns yellow, it shows that there's chlorine in the water. And as we can see, we've turned yellow. I'm going to take these strawberries and just drop them in the water. And we'll let them soak for a couple seconds and then we'll come back to this. And while that's happening, we've got some green tea here. This is Bigelow green tea, just a standard green tea. And I've got a pitcher of tap water and I've got a picture, pitcher of Chanson ionized water. So we'll take the tap water and we'll put it in this first cup, give it about a half cup of water. And then we'll take the 9.5 pH water. And I'm going to dip both of these a little bit and let's see what happens. You can see immediately that the ionized water tea starts to shed its color and even becomes extremely yellow. You see the difference here? Now, not only does it pull the tea out more because the cluster of the water molecule is smaller with ionized water and the alkalinity helps to penetrate better. But this actually will taste like a full, rich, boiled green tea. And the cool thing about it is you didn't have to boil it, you didn't have to use energy, you didn't have to heat up your house in a summer day to make your tea, and it's full-bodied and full-flavored. Now I'm gonna pour a couple more glasses of this 9.5, and for those of you who are frugal, you're gonna just love this, because what we're demonstrating here is that you can take that one tea bag and instead of throwing it out like you always do, you can make yourself a whole bunch of glasses of tea. And we can go on and on and on. Now before I move away from this, just so nobody thinks that I'm pulling something here, let's get some more tap water. And let me take the same tea bag we've been using to make all these and let's see if the tap water will make it yellow. And you see it does not. Now let's go back to our fruit here. And let's see what we end up with. Hello, where'd the chlorine go? Where'd all that yellow water go? <laughs> it went into the strawberries. So even a quick rinse of your fusion vegetables with tap water, they're like sponges. They suck the chlorine in immediately. The properties of the water just go on and on. The more you learn about it, the more incredible it is. And I'll tell you, wait until you taste this tea. It tastes like any boiled tea. It's full-bodied. It's a full-flavored tea. It's just phenomenal.